What if we never had any new ideas, no innovation, no better ways to communicate, to travel, or to improve our lives? What if the revolutionary research that led to the development of antibiotics and vaccines had never happened? What if the technologies that helped map the human genome and enabled scientists to develop new and innovative biological medicines, such as monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of cancer, had never been invented? That's not such a great idea, is it? For over 200 years, pharmaceutical research has led to the development of breakthrough medicines and vaccines that have helped millions of patients around the world live longer and healthier lives. The progress we have made is staggering, but it's not been an easy path. Research and development is a difficult and complex process. It can take up to 14 years to bring a new product to market. And it's not all about giant leaps forward. It's also about continuous step-by-step -step research, improvements to existing medicines and treatments that enable scientists to gain better knowledge and understanding of diseases allowing patients to have safer, more effective medicines. This is called incremental innovation, a complicated process that requires spending time and resources on more research, but one that can help provide treatments constantly adapting to the needs of patients and advancing the fight against disease. Some may think that incremental innovation only means relatively minor advances in treatments. In reality, it actually means many positive things for patients, from the availability of a broader range of medicines to improved dosing options and new uses for existing medicines. I reduced my anti-malaria doses of ASAQ treatments from eight to just two tablets a day. My type two diabetes regimen is so much easier to follow now that a single dosage form is available. I have more options to treat my cancer and more hope of beating it. We have seen great results using antifungal medicines metabolites to treat Chagas disease. This has been a great development since this parasitic infection severely damages the heart and digestive organs and affects nearly 10 million people. We have discovered that a medicine for the treatment of HIV infection is effective also in the prevention of maternal fetal HIV-1 transmission. This is a dramatic contribution to the fight against HIV. Maternal transmission has decreased from 30% to less than 2%. Rheumatoid arthritis medication has proven successful in treating other autoimmune conditions, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Our world needs biopharmaceutical innovation, both revolutionary and incremental. But to continue to thrive, it requires constant research and investment, supported by sound intellectual property rights, so that researchers will have the opportunity to continue to study and understand diseases, and develop new and better treatments for the benefit of patients all around the world. Now, that's an idea worth holding on to.